Much of what I enjoy about flying in the mountains is you have to be very adaptive with a lot of the different types of tasks we do. Um, there's just too many variables and you can't plan for them all. That's a real skill that we need to find in our pilots is that they're adaptable. We also need aircraft that are adaptable. I would say the 429 is probably the most adaptable aircraft we have. The majority of the industries that Valley Helicopter Services is wildfire fighting, oil and gas, search and rescue operations, and general construction. Our company has to adapt with industry changes. The 429 has got great performance for hot and high altitude work, can take gross weight to high elevation, and the reduction of the pilot workload while doing those tasks is really important to us as well. It's exciting to have the first 429 in the civilian environment in Canada. With the modern aircraft, a lot of the twin engine issues that you deal with with older aircraft, you don't have to deal with. Pairing the engines together, topping checks, stuff like that, you don't do that in the 429. The computer does it all for you. A big selling feature for this aircraft is its ability to go fast. It climbs fast, it descends fast, it starts fast, it shuts down fast. So that all plays into the customer's favor for how efficient we can be while doing any task for them. Typically, once the clients use the 429, they always want the 429. We use the 429 for firefighting for several reasons. It's very fast. It's probably 10% faster at least than most of its competitor aircraft. The footprint of the aircraft is about the same size as a 407, so it can go in the same small helipads that a 407 can go into. The majority of the work we do is initial attack, so we're taking the first guys to the fire, dropping a crew off, and then hooking up our water bucket and putting the first drops of water on a fire. Our radius to attack a fire is very large and have capabilities when we get there to stay on target for a long time can do multi-missions in that we can take the seats out if we need to take seats out very quickly in the event we need to do a medivac. Under three minutes we can go from a passenger configuration to having a complete stretcher kit installed and ready to go. Many of the hospitals around British Columbia require Category A performance to their H1 helipads and so the 429 has that capability and we can go direct from a scene into any of the hospitals in British Columbia. So it's kind of the Swiss army knife of aircraft for the types of work we do. It's a new modern aircraft, a lot of fun to fly. The workload is fairly simple for a twin. Lots of power, safety of the second engine. It does everything well. We like flying the 429 uh, probably slightly more than the other aircraft just for the comfort, the cockpit design, the layout, the avionics suite. The flight control systems make the aircraft very maneuverable, responsive to control inputs and reducing pilot fatigue as well. So it's a really great aircraft for complex situations. It's stable, smooth, powerful platform. It is really a pilot's helicopter. It's a beautiful aircraft to fly. So my dad started Valley in 1985 with a Bell 206 Jet Ranger and his main choice at that time was parts availability, support, operating costs, and that has been a stable purpose for us to continue using Bell aircraft for all these years. Reliability for our helicopters is really important because uh, we work in the backcountry and so being able to always get that aircraft back home and having no issues is a real benefit to us. The Bell customer support team is very accessible to us. They answer the phone pretty much any time. We know them on a personal level so they've been really friends as much as coworkers too. Since Valleys began in 1985, we've had great support from Bell with parts availability, technical knowledge from their customer service representatives. In any regard we've needed, Bell's always been there for us.